James Bond has some of the greatest gadgets and in this week's Keeping You Online. I'll show you how one of these gadgets is coming off the big screen and into real life. And we'll take a look at some very unusual iPhone accessories. Let's get started. Well, it's just beginning to snow out here, but coming up in a little bit, I'll be talking about a hot ticket item, the Grey Cup Festival, coming up next. Now, with Cam Broden becoming the new leader, the NDP hopes to gain more strength as the official opposition. When going back to school, you definitely need school supplies, pencils, pens, binders, but there are also some very high-tech school supplies you can get. I decided to take a look here Future Shop to show you the hottest gadgets. A common misconception about the flu is that the colder weather causes it to rear its ugly head. That is the case, but not for the reason you may think. The colder weather brings and keeps us indoors, which increases the chances of us ingesting a higher number of these infected particles. Blair, this really has been quite the winter. It definitely has. That snow just keeps coming and coming. But uh, many Regiants thought that last week's spring-like temperatures and the melting snow, that winter was almost over. But then we got hit with that lovely storm throwing a wrench into that theory and adding even more snow to what has already been a wild winter. There are a few ways you can protect yourself against card fraud. First, you can get one of these ATM cards that has the chip embedded inside it. These are available from your local bank. The second, whether using your debit card at an ATM like this or a point of sale transaction, is to look behind you and cover the keypad as you enter your PIN. I just call it the way I see it, and if people can't take it, I don't care. And I think, I actually, I, I'm a big fan of that because I truly believe, as you said, that's the business world, right? Just because it's on television doesn't mean you're going to create a different persona of yourself. Heather and Rusty, this is next to impossible. Joe's been doing it for 14 years. I've been doing it for 14 minutes, and I can barely do this. With Echo Valley only being an hour away from Regina, it's an easy getaway. You can book your campsite at www.saskparks.net. And if you pick the right site, this could be your backyard. <coughs> it's that time of year. <coughs> we are right smack dab in the middle of flu season, which is hitting us hard on a national scale. The flu is a virus, uh, which is different than a bacterium. And a virus is a small infectious particle. And they are very abundant in our environment. Every breath we take is full of viruses, although most of those viruses don't make us sick. Even though it's only one millionth of our size, the flu virus can stop us dead in our tracks. But without us playing host, it's inactive. The virus is absolutely dependent on its host. It's not a living organism. So something like the flu can only pass from person to person. It can't live. It's not a living organism. A common misconception about the flu is that the colder weather causes it to rear its ugly head. That is the case, but not for the reason you may think. The colder weather brings and keeps us indoors, which increases the chances of us ingesting a higher number of these infected particles. Even though the virus isn't alive, these particles still remain in the air we breathe and on many of the objects we come into contact with on a daily basis. Achoo! It's pretty clear that a single unrestrained sneeze can unleash particles over a wide area. Under black light, we can see how easily particles can transfer from the air and surfaces into our body. It may be a very crafty and durable virus, but there is one major way you can protect yourself. Really, the best thing you can do is hand washing. That would be the easiest thing to do. It doesn't require a lot of fancy equipment. You can just do it anywhere with soap and water or with a hand gel. But as you can see, a simple quick run under the tap doesn't cut it. A correct hand washing requires a washing and scrubbing of all surfaces for a good 20 seconds, then a thorough drying. Because the only surefire way to prevent the flu is to try to keep those unwanted guests from setting up shop. Blair Malstravich, Global News.